It's been a little less than a week since former San Francisco Commissioner Greg Chu was attacked. Now, it was just the latest in a disturbing and growing trend of attacks against not just members of the AAPI, but often older, more vulnerable members of the community, which is what brought out all of these people today in San Francisco, a rally demanding that police do more to protect the older members of their community. SFPD is not saying if the attack was racially motivated. They have said that the suspect was known to police. And KPIX 5's Betty Yu has the latest details on the arrest. Five days after the unprovoked attack on veteran city commissioner Greg Chu, police announced an arrest. Officers identified the suspect as 34-year-old San Francisco resident Derek Yarby. Yarby was booked at San Francisco County Jail on assault on the charges of battery with great bodily injury, elder abuse, aggravated assault, and then also an assault enhancement charge. Police say the two yeah, men so didn't speak right before Chu was hit and knocked to the ground just after 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday at 3rd and Folsom in Soma. Investigators will be attempting to interview the suspect and see if they can determine whether or not race or bias was a factor in the attack. <laughs> Among the local and state leaders supporting Sunday's rally against anti-Asian violence in Washington Square Park was Supervisor Matt Dorsey. Chu lives in his district. I really appreciate his courage coming forward. And I think it's equally important, if not more important, to highlight when we make an arrest, we have to send a message to would-be attackers who would contemplate coming to our city to do this, to attack Asian seniors, that they are going to be identified and arrested and prosecuted. Fight for change. And Dorsey pointed out that San Francisco police reported a 567% increase in anti-Asian hate crimes in 2021. In a text to KPIX5, Chu stated that he's somewhat relieved to hear of the arrest, but so many others have been assaulted and robbed. City leaders got to step up. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX5.